I want to be honest. I was annoyed. I was marooned in the trans guy when the decision was taken to suspend the arms strike. My indemnity had been withdrawn. I had spent more than 27 years in MK. I would spent the best part of my life in an arms struggle against this regime. I was angry and bitter that this decision was taken without comprehensive consultation. That was my immediate gut feeling. I didn't sleep when uh, our delegation was locked with the clerk negotiating. I was waiting for the outcome. When there was that press conference early in the morning announcing the suspension of military activities, I felt like crying. I'm one of the people who have seen comrades dying, both inside the country and outside the country, in the struggle against the regime of terror in Pretoria. I know the names, I know the faces. I know how these young people put aside everything in life to concentrate in the fight against white domination. And I said to myself, probably this, this was the right decision, but why was it that there was no widespread consultation with those who were actually involved in the physical side of armed struggle. That was my initial reaction. But like a disciplined soldier, a disciplined member of the movement, the decision had been taken. I had to understand this decision. And when it was explained that it was important to maintain the momentum of negotiations, I was ready to, to, to be reined in to explain it to other comrades. And I did it. Because in a movement as big as ours, Sometimes I've got to subject your own strong personal views and accept the views of the majority in the leadership.